What's happening Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. A lot of cars don't come with tire pressure monitoring systems. So what can you do? Well, the low tech answer is if you're really worried about the tire pressure in your tires, you can pick up a set of these. Now these are little uh, valve stem caps. You can see here, they have kind of a brushed satin metal finish. They are aluminum, they're pretty light. So they shouldn't knock your wheels out of balance. But what makes them interesting here is that they fit on top of a little Schrader valve and then they are basically releasing air pressure, but they're kind of capturing it in here. And so what you end up having are this little, I think it's a little clear acrylic cap on it. And you can see it says 36. I think that's kind of your target air pressure. You can get these, I think, in different air pressures. 36 is kind of a typical car uh, tire pressure. You know, if you're a hyper miler, you can actually inflate tires up to like 50 PSI. I'm not sure that it's recommended. To, I'm not sure that it's not unsafe, but, or that it's not safe and maybe unsafe, but people do it. And what ends up happening here, I just wanted to show you too closely, uh, six sides right here so you can get them on and off. You can really torque these things down. I don't know that you want to over torque them, but you got to create an airtight seal. Otherwise the air is going to leak out. You know, unlike a regular cap that just is kind of capping off the valve, the valve itself is holding the air pressure and the cap is just kind of preventing it from, you know, letting debris and stuff like that in. But these actually push down that little valve and are allowing pressure to come out, which is why they can read the pressure. Now, there are a little, uh, some sleeves in here, some colored sleeves. You can see there's no air pressure, so nothing has popped up. Now, what ends up happening here is that, depending on how much air pressure there is, uh, the little metal middle part should pop up and the green sleeve should pop up if you're getting 36. But if you're getting less, you can see, I think there's a little red sleeve in there kind of indicating at a glance that you have a tire pressure problem. Now, uh, I would say that my issue with this is that they stick out a little bit. You can see how long they are. You know, a valve stem cap is only gonna be maybe half this length. They're, they're not overly heavy, so I, like I said, I don't know that they uh, affect your tire balance at all, but they are also kind of bright. You know, you've got little yellow numbers, but it doesn't mean you have to use them on a car. You could use them on a trailer. You could use them on a truck. You could use them on uh, the tires of your uh, lawnmower, which is actually where I want to use these. And so they can be useful for a lot of other things, but it is, if you're really worried about the car, you're not worried about the aesthetics, you can put these on there. So let me just show you what it's like on different tire pressures. So before I install this, I just want to show you a quick comparison. This is my little Porsche cap here, and then this is the bigger cap. So you can see over twice as long, but it's really the girth that makes this thing stand out quite a bit. So let's go ahead and install it here on the valve stem and see if it works. So I've got it almost on here, so I'm going to push it on. And these tires are pressurized to the correct uh, PSI. And you can see here, we get the little pop out here and then the little green sleeve. So everything is A-OK. -okay. Now, if I pull away here from it a little bit, you can see how kind of bright it is. <laughs> that yellow 36 right there isn't helping anything by trying to keep it, you know, subtle, but it does work. And then obviously when I remove it, there's no pressure. And so you just see that little red line around there. So works pretty well. These things aren't expensive and can add a little bit of safety if your car does not have tire pressure monitoring. I will put a link to these in the description. Peter Von Panda, out.